moving points is easy inside 12D model. You simply choose the move point button. You choose the point that you want to move, accept, and drag that point into, into a new position and accept the new position. If you don't like what you've achieved, you can use the edit undo command to take the point back to where it was. But to be more clear about exactly what's going on, let's turn on the points using the toggle and turning on vertices, and let's turn on Z values in the same way, toggle and Z values on. When we choose the move point command, it's actually called move vertex, we choose a point and we accept it, and you notice that all of the points that are in that string light up. Don't be concerned, we're only moving one point, the one that we've chosen. Right click and accept that point, move it into a new location, and you can see that it takes its Z value with it. If we choose a spot on the screen, it'll take that spot, and if we accept that spot, that's where the point with its Z value will sit. If we place that point on top of another point, it'll snap to the other point, and we'll have two points at that location, each with differing, differing Z values. I'll do an undo to undo that command. If we choose to move one of the points on the string, the string will rubber band so that the string is continuous between the points. Once again, using the move vertex command, choosing a point and accepting, and moving that point across into a new location. In this case, I'll snap it on top of one of the existing natural surface points. Once again, we now have two points at that location, each with a different elevation. One is part of the blue string, and one is a natural surface point. Once again, edit undo to undo that command. Finally, if you want to move a point into a known location, once again you use the move point command, you choose the point that you want to move and accept it, and while you're moving the mouse, you press the spacebar. Now in this case I'm looking at the bottom of the screen, in this area here, where it tells me the coordinates of the, of the mouse at present. So I'm looking for roughly 42500 and 36900. If I press the spacebar and type in 42500 space 36900 and then press enter, the point goes in at that location. 